This is going to be a simple pendant we're going to be making in 2010 just to give you a quick idea of how the workflow has changed and how much nice and simpler everything is once you have customized your toolbars and once you have set up all your shortcuts. Um, the new way of working I prefer it is to just work directly into the 3D view so we don't have to constantly swi uh, s uh, switch in backwards and forwards from 3D to 2D. Okay, here we go. Start off with our center stone is 6.5. And we are going to offset that. And now I'm going to undock my drawing bars because I want it next to where I'm working. We're going to offset that 0.6. Um, we're going to offset it outwards. Um, the diamonds are going to go around the outside of that. 0.7 so we're just going to offset those 0.9 once twice and then it has a border which goes around 0.55 and we're going to offset those now we're going to start to draw our round stones so these are going to be uh, 1.7 and we are going to uh, paste them around that curve and we're going to paste them 17, 16 times. Okay. You not oh, we still need the offset vectors. So once they have been, we're going to offset them inwards 0.15. And offset them and we're going to group them. And then we're going to offset them again 0.2. And we're going to group those again. So we finished with the offset tool, we don't need it anymore, we can put it away. Uh, we actually finished with the paste along curve, we don't need anymore. So, I now have a shortcut for drawing rounds. So we're going to add in our prongs. And I'm going to hold down my control key. And that's where we want our prongs to be. We're going to select them both, we're going to group them. And we're going to use block copy rotate. We want it to go around a total of 16 times. We finish with those. Let's just grab them quickly. And grab those. Let's group them all together. And our drawing is finished. Okay, so we can s start to build. As you can see, there's our drawing. And we can start to build. So, I always start from outside to inside. Bring up the shape editor. We want them to be two millimeters high so I'm going to add just to give you a quick idea so therefore we're adding then I want to cut a little seat just where these stones are going to sit we're going to go down 0.5 subtract we're then going to select our prongs which will go up 0.55 we're going to add as well and then we just want to cut our seats out Subtract, and last of all, we're going to punch a hole just where those stones go. And there we go. Okay. So now we can start on the uh, center stone. So we're going to select the outside rim, bring up the shape editor. It needs to go up 0.5, add. And we're going to cut a seat 0.6. It's just going to go, stone is quite fat. We're just going to go straight down. So we're subtracting. And then I want to zero out the center. So I've got a shortcut for drawing around again. We want the center to be right there. Bring up the shape edit again and zero it out. Turn off the zero plane and basically there is our pendant. So let's see what the back will look like because I want to put a little a gallery that's going to come off the back of this. So let's go back to our uh, project. Here we have our front, which is where we're busy working on now. I'm going to call this top. And then we're going to go to our back relief. And I'm going to call this bottom. So, basically we just want a um, little rooms to sit right there. Just 
delete that, line that up with that. And we want a total of block copy and rotate again. Uh, we only want eight of those. Uh, so there we have the eight. So just go and grab those. Group those all together. Bring up the shape editor. And we want those to go down one millimeter. So we are going to subtract. We now have the option of seeing the front and the back, but at the same time, and I can see, there we go. That's what they're going to look like. I'm happy with that. I'll make a mesh of that. Uh, we're going to call this top. And we're going to close with the back relief. We're going to create triangles. Okay, it's made the mesh. Uh, we add that to our project. Okay, all we now have to do is we have to come and we have to make uh, the bottom, which will go around the bottom part of this pendant. So I'm going back to my front. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this bottom. And accept it. Make sure we're working on the layer. I'm then going to grab all these vectors except for the outside one and we say move vectors to a new layer and we're going to go to our vectors and this is going to be top and then we're going to make a new layer and it's going to be called bottom accept it so we're going to hide away the top we do not need it anymore and we're going to be working on our new bottom layer so we don't want to see what we have in view here either and i'm seeing this because i'm seeing what i added to my project folder let's get that out the way also i'm seeing my back at the moment so let's just go to the back and turn the back off so i'm looking at only my new top so looking straight down again zoom in and we're going to offset this inwards. We're going to go a millimeter inwards. Inwards. And then we're going to create a nice little back. So I'm just going to take polyline. And I'm going to click one, two, three. And we're going to close it off. We're going to offset that inwards. Oops. One millimeter. And we're going to have our back. So we're going to select these two. Bring up the shape editor. One millimeter. Add. Select the next two. 0.5. Merge high. Quick look at it. That looks good. And we're going to make a mesh. And this is going to be called bottom. Uh, because we don't have a back, we don't need a back, so we can close it with a flat plane, create triangles. Triangles are made, looks very nice. And <coughs> project, okay, and close. Okay, we can now go file, close <coughs> model, update our changes, yes. And now we can see, turn the assembly on. We now have our front and back. Our bottom just has to be nudged into view. So we're going to go down 1.5, down, and there we go. Let's just hide this out the way. Michael's will be done with it now. That can go right back where it belongs. And there we go. There's a quick little back, our gallery. I think we can bump this down a little bit more. 0.5, I think is still enough. I think I'll add, there we go. Okay. And there you go. That was simple. We stayed in one view. We did all our drawing in 3D. And uh, we were able to see the front and the back. And there you go. Have a good day.